I'm gonna talk about a very important upgrade you can do to your 3D printer for a smoother movement and better print quality. So for those of you who don't know me, I have a master's degree in engineering design and I design 3D printers as a hobby. So these are the parts we are talking about, the idlers. Also pulleys are important, today I'm gonna talk about the idlers. These parts are usually very bad on the 3D printers. And E3D released idlers which are of good quality. They are very expensive. Now Mellow3D sent me some samples. We are gonna look at these samples. I'm just gonna show you these in the cut first. So usually these idlers have a bearings that doesn't work, which means that they just spin around the bolt and you will not have a smooth movement. You might even give artifacts to your print. And you do want to have a toothed idler on the toothed side of the belt and you want a smooth one on the back side. I know some of you use smooth on also the toothed side. That's not like the optimal solution. You can read more about that on also E3D's uh, side about GT2 parts. I can link to that as well. But also I'm gonna link to uh, the one from Mellow, which is a more affordable thing. And we're gonna see if they actually run as they should, if the bearing works and the quality about them. So let's have a look then. So let's talk about idlers, guys. It's a very important part in 3D printing. And some people do use bearings for this. I guess bearings is okay for backside of the belt. For the, the toothed side, we do want a toothed idler from a mechanical perspective. And also if you go to E3D, they will state that you want toothed idlers on the toothed belt side. From Mello, they have an option for what they say is quality idlers. Of course, you can get these also on E3D. And I wanted to check out these products. I mean, uh, the Chinese uh, do actually understand quality now these days. So it's not all uh, Chinese bad. These are Chinese bad. These are typical idlers you get. And if you try to hold the bearing <laughs> and turn the idler, yeah, you can barely turn it. The bearing is sort of stuck. And I will illustrate this in a second. If I now open, let's do a toothed one. So these are much smoother. The way I can illustrate that, this is that by adding them to a bolt. And I have a flag on so you can see if it moves or not. And I of course have precision shims here. That's important, you need the precision shims or else this will not work. And I tighten this by hand. And we need to see if we can turn this easily, which you can see, we can. This is smooth, very smooth. Then let's check our Chinese, <laughs> the cheap one, I mean. So same thing here, I just tighten this by hand like this. And then we, <laughs> yeah, it does not roll. I'm trying to force it now to roll, but yeah. So it barely goes around itself and I guess that is not the bearing. I guess the bearing is slipping. This is a big difference. And this is a huge impact on our smooth, uh, the smoothness of our 3D printer. So you do want to upgrade. This is probably the smoothest upgrade you can do for a smooth movement. No restrictions in the movement. Either you have a t need a toothed one or a smooth one. These are a little bit higher profile. The cheap ones are nine and a half millimeter and these ones are 10. The good ones are 10. They have also smaller diameter, which is really nice for our design. I mean, everyone should upgrade their idler to be sure that you have your movements smooth so we don't get stutter and restrictions to the belt path. <laughs> I can barely move it. Like with force and this I've been running these uh, you know the bad ones myself But you know if you want like a smooth print, it's good. It's good stuff These are of course more expensive, but spend that extra bucks for a smooth movement guys This is important stuff. I will link to this in the description and I see you in the next one subscribe guys